And yeah, five o'clock or follow meeting to order. We do have all board members present. Um, and then we also have our student rep here, one of our two student reps here. Um, looks like we do have an addi addition to the agenda. Yep, so the uh, addition to agenda, the agenda is just a signed contract came in um, for a consent agenda item. So that was the only change to the agenda. With that, looking for a motion to approve the agenda as presented. So make that second motion from Cheryl and a second from Bruce. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. That's carried. I uh, don't believe we have any bigger public comments. We'll move on to the consent agenda. We have our minutes from the last two meetings attached. If everybody had an opportunity to review that, and then uh, cover over to Cheryl for bills. I was able to go through the bills today. Um, I see some more payments going out for band and choir. That must be mm -hmm. getting down to the final stages of getting ready to go. I guess so. Exciting. Mm -hmm. And I still can't go with. <laughs> The answer is still no, Cheryl. Yeah. Somebody's got to feed the horses. It's Arnie's fault, right? I guess so. <laughs> I thought maybe he was going. Um, I saw some bills come in for roof repairs for the pet, and that's covered. Yep. So that's a, that's in order for that to be our um, our warranty, we pay, and then they reimburse. So it's a so that it's our bill and it's our roof. So that's why it's a an exchange. Mm -hmm. And also, they're doing some German fundraisers. There must be another trip coming up in the near not um, far future. Yeah, they're fundraising. Um, I have to look back at when their trip was, when their trip is coming. Um, they've had um, a couple, we had some donations coming in for the Spanish and German trip mm -hmm. too. So those are yep. ongoing. Yep. Other than that, that's all that stood out to me. Okay. And we'll move on to personnel items. Okay. No. Um, so the only thing I'm, I'm going to call out that's a little bit different um, and kind of not routine is, is we do have an extra overload to meet a planner. Um, the Innovation Center has really just, it's almost busting at the seams. I mean, we've got people using the Innovation Center, which is a beautiful problem to have because it's not a problem. I mean, that's what the intent of the space is, is for. Um, but as a certified staff member, so Anita, remember, is on a, a teaching contract and um, she really has responsibilities every class period of this quarter. And so um, she does need an overload because there's there just was not a time for her to have any um, prep time. So she's doing everything outside of her school day or um, beginning before school, after school because there's just so much responsibility with that, within that space this quarter. So that's the only one I want to call out um, that is different. And then on the donations, I will just, um, I'll just acknowledge that there's, you're going to see a lot of the activity from the soup salad or the soup sandwich and song, um, soup sandwich and song, silent auction items, um, three times fast, say that one. Um, but that this is, um, as we've really shored up our donations process, you're going to see things like this happening more often. So that really is uh, why that looks a little bit different. But otherwise, um, it is just a, a pretty standard consent agenda today. With that, looking for a motion to approve consent agenda, uh, consent agenda as presented. So Motions from Maggie. Second. Second from Bruce. Any further discussions? Questions? Anything? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Both say no. Carried. Uh, communication items with you, Janelle. Okay. So first, I'm going to kind of walk through uh, my administrative report for you today. Uh, first and foremost is, is just a huge thank you to our community for support of the referendum. Um, I know that this, this was an absolute team effort to get communication out to um, answer questions to really uh, people took, took um, they stepped out of their comfort zone to really um, be present in conversation. And, and I'm grateful for that because I know that there were many phone calls made. A lot of people um, coached our recent graduates through their first election, which I thought was also um, kind of a nice opportunity because many of our recent graduates haven't had an opportunity to vote. Um, last year with the uh, referendum, it was run by us. A lot of people had an opportunity to vote absentee in the district office, but that's very a very different process. And so it really was a nice opportunity for um, 
for some of our staff or community members to connect with some of our, our most recent graduates and, and kind of walk them through an absentee ballot process, which I thought was um, also a good way to just walk them through getting involved in the election as a whole away from your community. So that was, um, there is just a lot of work that took place and so I'm grateful for that work. But I also wanna just um, ensure, uh, just assure the rest of our community that, that had concerns um, that I hear that too. And that um, I think it's important that we we can step back and say, what can what else can we do? Um, but also that, that um, I am committed to advocating at the legislative level for increased and equitable funding. I do understand the, that without that, we do come to our taxpayers. And so, um, you know, I'm just committed to that as well. So I just wanted to, to acknowledge that because um, part of our dis district st strategic plan is fiscal stewardship. And I know that that's something the school board has as a priority. And so I really do want to assure the rest of our community that the, and the community that did support the referendum that that this is not taken lightly and it is something that we are committed to that, that fiscal responsibility. Um, and then finally today um, is Maggie's last day um, as a board member because she'll be gone in December. Um, so I wanna say thank you to Maggie um, as it's your last meeting before your term expires. So thank you. I'm a little bit sad. I have a little bit better sweet, but but um thank you. So your time, energy, and passion has been appreciated. So thank you, Maggie. Um, so that's what I have for my administrative report. Um, I will pull up the uh, financial um, reports as well. So I will start with the expenditures because that's the tab that I saw most readily. Um and it is the top tab. Would you look at that? So the only thing I'm going to point out here, so again, as you're um, clicking into this and looking at this, just remember to come over to the October tab. So this is a running tally of this of the year. Um, and you're going to notice that this there are two comments. And so if you would click on that bottom where it says see all comments, um, there's just two different notations. Um, both of these are the um, on this expenditure, you're going to notice are we have IEQ expenditures, the indoor air quality project expenditures coming through. So I'm going to close the tab and I'll come over to where those are so that um, people can kind of see. And um, I got to let my cursor catch up here and see if my little eyes will see where my carrot is right there. So you'll see that um, there's a little carrot in the corner of the box and that's a highlight and a comment. So Carrie just wanted to make a notation of that because those are some things that we're going to start seeing come through. And that is delineated on both the top and the, the bottom for the first and second spreadsheet. Again, it's just in the different categories um, for that indoor air quality project. And then you'll see the other fund balance expenditures as well. Nothing stood out in the or out of the ordinary in that area. Okay. And then I will click into uh, the revenues and we'll look at those. In the revenue tab, um, you're going to see one notation over um, in the far column. Again, we're going to just take a quick peek at um, the, um, it's actually a revenue from, whoops, let's get to the right tab. I remind everybody myself and then I don't do it. Um, so taking a quick look over at the, um, there's a, a revenue that is um, kind of, it was reallocated in October 30, the, the 2021 um, fiscal year. And, and that was, um, we received guidance from the Minnesota Department of Ed where to code some funds that we received through the COVID money. And so it was a change in where that was coding. It, you'll, again, this is not our current fiscal year, but it is a change. And so she wanted to just make sure that there was a notation as to why that change was there. Um, so that is, it does not, you'll notice it, it does change the, um, the percentage of that year, 130%, but it was because again, it was um, the state of MDE now told us where to categorize that revenue and it's categorized as local 
funds. Okay. So that's that's the area I wanted to just call out on the revenue spreadsheets. Um, and I'll just pause for any questions that anybody has. Um, and then moving on to, oh, sorry, go ahead, Thomas. Do we need, can I go on to oh, yeah, reports? Yeah. Yep, video okay. yep, sorry. All right, Maggie, do you want to update on West Central Ed District? Sure, we had our meeting last night in person. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing a lot of them remote. Um, the biggest thing is uh, they've been working on finalizing the contracts for, Certi well, they're certified staff. Yeah, so for how long? Contract. It, a long time, all of last year, and part of it is they were trying to make things um, more equitable between the different contracts. I guess like they're very, they were very different from each other, um, and these different groups coming. It just took a lot of work on their part. Um, I don't know if you want to add. And the other thing is, it was their initial union contract. Um, the certified staff had been on a handbook prior, so the it was a process to um, formalize their first collective bargaining agreement. So it was really a laborious process, many meetings back and forth, um, trying to work through language and then finances. And then we're now two years out and how do you handle that first year settlement? And two, so it was it was a lot of things. And so it was a pretty significant increase, but it is very, very clear that the next round, like that's like this happened because of that transition. That is not the expectation moving forward. Right? increase to just get us to this point. So it was kind of a little bit of a celebratory thing that that was finally yeah. um, passed. And then just update on the numbers within the different programs and everything else is kind of business as usual. We have two people that are going to be up here shortly, but we should tell them what WCED means. Sure. The WCED is the West Central Education District. Um, our West Central Education District is um, the the special education consortium that we are part of that provides our special education director. They provide our itinerant services, uh, which would be things like an occupational therapist, um, a, um, a physical therapist. Um, they provide a coordinator to support our special education staff. So it's a, it's a resource for our district and we are a member of that, um, of that education district. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Oh, I should say the, um, oh my goodness, what's the name of the hall? Oh, the, um, we're still on Spangle, the U zone. zone. I'm like, yeah. oh my goodness. Um, so this was kind of exciting. One of the, is it Albany or is it Sox Center? One of the schools are going to be using it on Fridays. They're going to start this. Um, the Methodist Church has been very, very generous and not charging the district at all. But they're bringing in adults from age 18 to 21 um, to work on life skills and just different things, which is really cool that that space is being utilized. And then they want to start being able to bring in other districts that could come in on different days. So that space would be used for um, hopefully the West Central Ed District for something like that. Yep. And so that's a what that is, is that's um, called transition services. It's for it's special education services for students that are 18 to 21 years old that have very specific um, targeted skill um, acquisition, maybe around home living skills, or um, they might be working on um, independent living. Um, so they might be working on cooking. They might be working on doing some just general like um, household tasks. They might be working on um, learning how to navigate their community independently so they could get picked up at like their house and dropped off at a work site, for example, and using public um, transit or like those types of things. And, and a house is a very um, natural place to have students live curriculum, which is really what you want from an 18 to 21 year old program. So it is a great opportunity from uh, the Grace you know, the Grace Methodist Church. Is youth only being utilized right now? They are looking for a coordinator. Um, so I could put a plug in for that. Um, I know they're looking for somebody who would help um, provide some uh, supervision for, and, and the their mission and like what their purpose is, is, ap is to provide after school opportunity for kids that are, that really they just need some, parents want them to have someplace structured to go and, and maybe they do some homework or they can maybe get tutoring if they want to, or they can just come and like have a, like not a snack and have play games, but yet it's just a little bit of structure. 
but they're not just so kids aren't just sitting home uh, waiting for parents to come from work. So that's what the intent of the program is. Six through twelfth grade. Six through twelfth grade. My bad. I'm. Thank you. And thank I knew it's yeah middle school through high school age. Oh, and, I, I think yeah recent years it's been. They haven't found a director for a year or two. Mm -hmm. It's been really tough. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll go on to the student representative. So, well, we started a new quarter recently. It's been good getting new classes. Everyone's starting out. Um, basketball starting up. Oh, that's exciting. There's not really a lot. For um, SAD on Friday, we have an activity with preschoolers. So that'll be fun and exciting to go over there. Um, and then for NHS, we, we use the money that we raised in the bake sale. And we started this thing, we call it period poverty, but it's for like girls. And we've made um, four different boxes and we put one in the middle school and then there's two here and there's one in the elementary school for just like feminine products, like whatever we need. We just donated like all that money. So we just put a basket in there. And so far the response has been like really positive. Everyone's really grateful for it. So we think it's a really good thing and maybe restocking it monthly. We're just figuring it out, but it's been, it's been good so far. A great service project. Yeah, it was a good idea. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll move on. If there's nothing for old business, we'll move on to new business, a Canvas selection results. All right. So um, if you click on the link, and I'll pull that up for everybody to uh, see, uh, we are going to review the, the election results from the abstract. Um, Maybe. Maybe I didn't open it. Huh. Bring it out. Here we go. All right. So this looks, oh, I did have it open. Um, it it looks the first page is is Kitty Wampus. So if you scroll to um, the next page, you'll see the summary. <laughs> Um, and again, it is rotated, so I'll just read the numbers for you so you can kind of have a point of reference as to what they are. Um, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to page three. Uh, so page three has our school board numbers, um, and you'll see all of those. Um, the This is this document on, it's, if you read the bottom of it, it says the page two of nine. Um, this is the, the cumulative results of all of our voting precincts. In the pages beyond, you'll see the breakdown of all of our different precincts, okay? So um, the school district questions are um, right below the school board members. And you will see that uh, for the first question, we have 1,459 yes to 1,402 no. And the second question, which would have indexed for inflation, is 1,191 1, yes to 1,655 no's. So a pretty resounding change on that one. Um, and again, recognizing and acknowledging the close vote on um, question number one as well. So this is the abstract of all of the data that um, we are going to use as we move into the canvassing. And then I will turn it over to you, um, Thomas, to talk through the resolution. Um, it's not going to be the whole resolution, but we do have a resolution here with the uh, names of the four board members that were elected to um, new seats uh, effective uh, January of 2023. Um, and uh, be looking for a motion to uh, approve this resolution. So move. The motion from Bruce, second from Jake. Uh, with that, we'll do a roll call vote. Rick? Aye. 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 Carol? Aye. Thomas? Aye. Bruce? Aye. That the resolution has passed. The insurance certificates. So the, um, this is the, um, this is the section that essentially directs our uh, clerk to issue the election certificates for our new board members. With this, we'll look for a motion to adopt this resolution as presented. So moved. 
Motion from Rick. I'll second. Second from Cheryl. And we'll begin when you're ready, Amanda, go to a roll call vote. Rick. Aye. Greg. Aye. Megan. Aye. Thomas. Aye. Cheryl. Aye. Bruce. Aye. That resolution has passed. Um, C, policy review, second reading and approval. Okay. Um, so I will share um, and cast out the, um, the policy committee uh, notes. Um, just as a reminder, um, the this was we had our policy first read, um, and I have not received any questions, comments about any of the policy um, members that are on the policy committee. Has anybody heard anything? Had any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay. Um, so, so we always had the policy committee notes. Mm -hmm. and, I didn't recall seeing that before. I thought it was in each different policy. They're right here. No, before. Previous. Previous okay. to this. I always thought the policies came up. I don't remember seeing all the notes. Anyway, personally, oh. I liked it. Oh, if I miss gotcha. it all the time. Oh, well, that's too bad. But if I did miss it all the time, I think it's excellent because it's a great summary of everything that went on. I feel like we might have started that when we first got on board four years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, the policy committee, we mm -hmm. started out with, with Matt. I think you can just kind of start yeah, structuring I, it that way. And um, I would say probably a lot of years and a lot of uh, approvals, we probably just didn't have a lot of notes because there's a, it's a lot of well, notes. Maybe, maybe it wasn't so many at the same time. Yeah. Correct, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and, and I do like, um, as I've, kind of picked this up. One of the things that I do like about having those running notes is that you can see some of the discussion and the, and the mm -hmm. um, considerations of the policy committee. And I think that that's nice for the rest of the board to see as well. Well, to that note, our first time on policy committee, it was a situation where we'd have random policies and Matt and the superintendent and us as new and or existing board members that had been there before said, well, where did we ever come up with this idea before? Right. Where was the thought process? And now, yeah, having that running note will will come back to you know having some clear clarity of what the decision was and why. So, uh, with that, looking for a motion to approve policies 501, 502, 503, 506, 512, 514, and 722 as with changes uh, discussed. Could, could we have a summary of what they are? School weapons is number two. You know such. You want me to spell out what they are right now? Yes, please. Okay. So I'll put that back up and I'll share that out again. You know, we, I can just read that off too. You're just looking at policy 501 with the school weapons. Yes. Uh, policy 502 is uh, around search of student lockers, desk, personal, pos personal possessions, and student uh, and a student's person. 503 is the attendance policy. Policy 506, student discipline. Policy 512, school sponsored student publications and activities. Policy 514, bullying uh, prohibition. Uh, policy 722, public data and data subject request. Thank you. Again, for motion to so move. Motion to Bruce. Second. Second from Rick. Any further discussions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Carried. And D. Hey, you have a quick comment here? Yes, certainly may. So we got two of you sitting over there, going to be sitting over here. The school had policies on everything and every single thing that comes up. So it's an excellent reference, reference for Janelle if issues arise, because it's all written down. And then we copy from the Minnesota School Board Association and fix it to our own personal. But that's kind of just a, you'll get it all, but that's a quick summary of this. So, so then the Minnesota School Board Association, is that like a, the hierarchy document? And, and we tailor it to yeah. our particular school? Yeah. Okay. And and we're going to talk about, yes. a lot about that in You're our orientation. And, and yeah. Bruce, we're going to go through an orientation. Yeah, I just, them. They're yeah. sitting here, and I thought I might as well describe yeah. a little yeah. bit of what we're doing yeah. real quick so you at least have a reference. And whereas a few years ago, they were kind of scattered, and some were left for years. Yes. So I go through a three-year rotation now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So every three years, everyone gets revisited. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's a moving three years, I think. That's right. Three yeah. years, you try to get through. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll, uh, D, review upcoming meetings. Okay, so um, December 13th, I'm going to call this one out just because this is the um, twice a year I think we've tried to do it, um, but I know December of last year we have a meeting in, at 1.30 in the afternoon, which is our traditional business meeting, um, and we only have one, biz, one uh, we don't have a work session and a business meeting during the month of December because of the shortened holiday season. Um, but at 1.30, we um, usually have students come in and, and talk through what's happening at uh, at the building. And so there's just kind of a more of student report at that meeting. And then um, we have our truth and taxation uh, meeting, which is at 6 o'clock on that evening, which is a special board meeting. So um, I'll just call that out because that is um, that is unique to the month of December. Before we adjourn, can I say something? Mm -hmm. I want to, I mean, it, like I said, it's bittersweet for me. I put a lot of time and discernment into if I should run or not. And obviously the decision I wasn't going to, um, and it was the right decision this season of my life. Who knows, I might run again in the future, but I do want to acknowledge you as board members. Like some of you I didn't know that well, and I really struck me when MSBA came in and they did evaluation of our board. And they're like, you are a very high functioning board. And I have reflected on that a lot. And I think some of the key things are we've disagreed at moments, but we've never disrespected each other and we can disagree and we come forward as one board. And I really appreciate that. And I think it's possible because we have a strategic plan. We have a vision and a mission, and that is what we focus on. And I, I say that because I don't think there's many places in the world that have that where you can disagree and come together for a purpose and a mission. And I just respect each and every one of you. I'm gonna miss working alongside of you. Um, I've learned so much and it's been a great opportunity and we just have a great district. We really do. And honestly, thank you. You've all really well, enjoyed thank it. You. Yeah, really honestly, enjoyed you all. Thank you. You've been, yeah, you know, we can just reiterate that back to you. You've been amazing to work with the last four years. Um, and uh, I knew you a little bit before, but, you know, really have gotten to know you well as, as a, a professional. Um, you know, working alongside you on the board and um, certainly going to miss you on the board and we look forward to our new uh, board members, but, uh, but we're certainly going to miss you, your, your, your opinions, your, your just thoughtfulness of, of what you kind of bring into to these meetings has been, been wonderful. And it's going to be, uh, um, it, it's going to miss you on that, but look forward to see what your future holds. And if you come, if you decide to come back and jump on the board again with us. So. I get care. I just want to say you've been an asset. We love having you on. It's always fun when we have lots of opinions. And you have lots of opinions when you conclude it. You have done a good job of trying to cover. Each of us live in slightly different bubble of people that we associate with, all that kind of stuff. When everybody's talking, it all comes together and you can make a, a good decision based upon everybody you're in contact with. It's a lot of fun. And you did a great job. Thank you. Just got one other thing. I just want to mention that I think something kind of special happened. It's happening in our school today, but down in the pack this afternoon, I don't know how many people realize, but we're hosting the Eden Valley Watkins football team who made it to the semifinals of the state tournament. And uh, I know sometimes uh, some of these teams will rent out St. Cloud State Stadium or whatever, but for whatever reason, they chose to come over to our really pack, fun. and I, I think that just that. says so much about our community and the fact that, well, the fact that we let them in the door, but. But I think it was just, it, it, it's the two things. One, we have a really nice facility that somebody else wants to use, and secondly, the cooperation between the schools. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Yes, yeah. that was cool. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, Thank you for sharing. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, that looking for a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move the board adjourn. We have a motion from Jake. A second. A second from Maggie. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Carried.